Hey, you want to know how to use your optic and simple mathematics to find out how far away your target is without using an expensive laser rangefinder? I swear the math's easy. Let's get an MRAP or Milliradian or just Mills, depending on who you're talking to at the time. It's one of the best precision shooting tools out there, and for some reason, a lot of shooters are hyper confused about it online. People seem to get lost in the mathematics of the explanation a bit too much, and they let themselves get overwhelmed. I'm here to tell you that it's really not that difficult. Let's break this thing down shotgun style together so we can put it into action out in the field. All right, so what's MRAD? MRAD stands for milliradian, which is a unit of angular measurement. You may have also heard of people calling it mills as a slang term. Think of it like a smaller version of a degree. There's about 17.5 MRADs that make up one degree. A radian is an angle that's formed when you take a circle's radius and lay it along the edge of the circle. A milliradian is one one thousandth of that angle. In shooting, MRAD is used in optics with mil dot reticles, similar to this vortex razor we have on the table. Mil dots are spaced exactly one mil apart with each dot representing 0.2 mils. Why angles? Unlike inches or centimeters, angles are gonna stay consistent at any range. At 100 yards, an MRAD equals 3.6 inches. At 1,000 yards, it's 36 inches. It's the same if you're shooting in metric as well. At 100 meters, an MRAD is equal to 10 centimeters. At 1,000 meters, an MRAD is equal to 100 centimeters or one meter. This is a one to 1,000 ratio. It makes MRAD perfect for adjusting your aim and measuring and ranging your targets, no matter how far away they are. It's also very simple because the entire thing is measured in base 10 instead of base 60 like MOA. If you're confused, we can simplify this even further. A mil is a mil is a mil. Milliradian means one one thousandth of anything. All right, so one of MRAD's coolest uses is figuring out how far your target is without using a laser rangefinder. All you need is your mil dot reticle and the target size. Here's a couple of simple examples you can use if you know the target's height. All right, first, if you know your target's height in inches, what you have to do is take the height in inches, multiply that by 27.8, and then divide it by the mils you're seeing in the reticle of the optic. All right, let's try the math. Imagine you're hunting a wild boar in Texas. It's something I used to do a lot when I lived down there. Those boars are about 30 inches tall at the shoulder. Through your scope, you see that it's two MRADs tall. We're gonna calculate 30, times 27.7, and you're gonna get 833. You're gonna divide that by two MRADs, and that's gonna give you 416 and a half yards. That's your distance. We use 27.77 because an inch is 1 36th of a yard. You convert that into a decimal and you get 0.2777. You multiply that by 1,000, and you get 27.77 repeating, of course. All right, so if your target's height is in yards or meters, you're gonna change the math equation a little bit. It's gonna get simpler. You're gonna take the height in yards or meters and you're gonna multiply it by a thousand and then divide it by the total MRADs you've measured in the optic. For a one yard tall target backer at four MRADs, you're gonna take one times a thousand, divide it by four, 250 yards. So if you take a good look at this, this is actually your MRAD ranging formula for just about every single way that you can do it. So this is something you can come back to later. You can screenshot it, whatever you need to do. Just hold on to this because these are all of the equations that you're gonna need to properly range targets using your mil dot reticle. For second focal plane scopes, ranging is only gonna work at a specific magnification. Usually this is 10X, but it could be whatever the max power of your optic is. If you have a first focal plane scope, the reticle is gonna scale with the zoom, so it's accurate at any power. Always check your scope's manual to confirm, but this is one of the key benefits to a first focal plane scope. You can learn more about focal planes by checking out our optics bio video that Randy put together in, I think it's this corner. Primarily, mils are used for rapid shooting adjustments. Most optic turrets are going to adjust in 0.1 mil increments. This one adjusts in 0.2. Here's some key figures for you to remember. One mil at 100 yards is 3.6 inches. One mil at 100 meters is 10 centimeters. This scales regardless of the range. At 1,000 yards, one mil is 36 inches. At 1,000 meters, one mil is 100 centimeters or simply one meter. Once you know the distance to your target, use mil adjustments to adjust for any bullet drop or wind. Say your rifle is zeroed at 100 yards and your target's at 300 yards. Your bullet drops 7.2 inches at 300 yards. One MRAD equals 10.8 inches. So 7.2 inches is about 0.7 MRADs. For wind, if it's pushing your bullet one mil right, hold one mil dot left. Your reticle should do the work for you. Think of your mil dot reticle as a ruler inside of your optic. Making wind calls is an entire separate video. Think of this just as an example, not the rule. You're not always gonna just make a one mil dot holdover, but that's a video for another day. Pro tip, one MRAD is equal to roughly 3.5 MOA if you're used to minute of angle. You can convert the dials and your holds using that, but MRAD simplicity is pretty hard to beat, so you shouldn't need to once you get a little bit more experienced. 
So here's how you're gonna practice. You're gonna hit a spot where you can shoot at longer ranges. Bring targets of known sizes like a 36 inch square and practice ranging with your mill dot reticle. Cross check it with a range finder to sharpen your skills and make sure that you're getting it right. For hunting, I want you to make a cheat sheet for yourself or pick up a resource like the mill dot master, which is a great analog computer. I want you to list ranges to common game, say a 22 inch coyote at one, two or three MRADs in your reticle and keep that somewhere for quick reference so you know the range based on the mill dot size. Keep it somewhere like a quarterback sleep. Eventually, if you do this enough and you hunt the same kind of game often enough, it's gonna become first-hand knowledge for you and you're not even gonna think about it. Also, you should train your eye to estimate ranges without an optic. If it'll make your MRAD calculations way more reliable. The more you practice this, the better you're gonna get at ranging and adjusting on the fly. It's as simple as getting somewhere with a rangefinder and making range estimations to landmarks and then double checking them on the inexpensive laser rangefinder to see how close you were able to get just by using your naked eye. MRAD and MOA is a debate for the ages, guys. At the end of the day, it's shooter preference and you should stick to what you know and to whatever's most common for the group of people you're shooting with. That said, personally, I think Miller Radian is the best system for long range shooting due to the versatility of the system. If you want to know more about what kind of optic you need, check out our optics bible over here. If you're fired up to debate MOA and MRAD, go ahead and check out this video and get down into the comment sections where I'm sure the battle will be raging.